first step is protecting the areas that we do not want to apply e-cork. The product is packed correctly to avoid any type of contamination or evaporation of the water from the product. Carefully extract the bag and pour the contents into the bucket itself. Shake the toner well and pour it into the e-cork container. Add a small quantity of water to the toner container to remove all traces of pigment and thus avoiding unwanted changes in color. Shake it again and add it to the mixture. Mix the product well with the help of a professional mixer. Mix it with vertical and circular movements to obtain a homogeneous mixture. Add approximately half a liter of water to obtain the appropriate viscosity for your application. The amount of water to be used may vary according to the ambient temperature. Be sure to clean the mixer with water before the product dries. Let the mixture rest for 5 minutes. You will need an air compressor. It is important that it provides us with a constant pressure so that the application is homogeneous at all times. In this case, we adjust it to the pressure of 4 to 5 bars because we are going to apply e-cork classic. You will also need a spray gun, and in this case, the gun nozzle has to be six millimeters. If you want to use another type of e-cork, you can find what kind of pressure and nozzle you should use in the description of this video. Humidify the funnel of the gun so the product does not stick to its walls and flows out correctly. Project at a distance between 16 to 25 inches or 40 to 70 centimeters. This first coat is for fixation and the surface does not have to be completely even. Keep in mind you can stop working at any time and resume the task later. The cut will not be seen. Do the application work carefully with horizontal movements. Our advice is that you apply by smaller areas and not entire surfaces. It will be much easier this way. Once the first coat is finished, wait approximately six hours to start the second coat. This time may also vary depending on the ambient temperature. It is very important that when the second coat is to be applied, that the first coat must be completely dry. You can check it with a hand touch. In the application of the second layer, combine horizontal and circular motions using the wrist rather than arm movements. Be careful. When applying, try to avoid focusing on a single area, otherwise agglomerations of the product will appear and stains will be perceived. Then apply the third coat, also with circular movements, but at a larger distance to have the expected aesthetic finish. Follow these steps and you will achieve unmatched thermal and acoustic insulation. For the correct insulation and visually attractive finish, in this case you should use 2 to 3 kilos of e-cork per square meter of surface.